And so we got Marie, we got Rach, we got Michaela, and that looks like that is it. Okay, let's do a little bit of joint mobility here. Let's start with some hip circles. So you're going to pretend that you're standing inside of a big bowl and you're tracing the inside of the bowl with your hips. Switch directions if you haven't already. Okay, let's widen that stance. Hips back and we're going to reach for one ankle. We're going to come back up nice and tall. Hips back, reach for the other ankle. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, that's good. Let's bring those feet back in. Uh, I'll back up a little bit. I want you to turn one toe in. You're going to come up with a high knee, rotate out, toe facing out. High knee, toe facing in. We're practicing for Lord of the Dance. couple more and that's good we're gonna switch okay that's good arms out palms up we're gonna turn one over and we're gonna reciprocate that action So we're trying to get the head of the arm moving in that shoulder joint. Try to get that nice and mobile. Okay, that's good. We're going to come up left over right, overhead, right over left, back down. Left over right, overhead, right over left, back down. And we're just going to smooth that out. Okay, we're gonna reverse that, so we're right over left, overhead, left over right, back down. So we're just reversing that order. Okay, that's good. All right, we're gonna start, get started with some one-arm swings. Again, we're focusing on getting that hip connection and that good send-off. Um, 30 seconds an arm, twice through, Rest for 30 seconds, and we'll do that one more time. And we're gonna start in 10 seconds. So you just follow along. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Keep it going. Hey, Don. We're just doing some swing and ding dings. Okay, switch arms. Hey, Don. Ten more seconds, and then we're going to switch back. Okay, switch arms. So make sure you pull your arm into your hips, 
You want to get that early connection. You're maintaining that connection through your backswing. And then you got to push hard through your feet and pop up. And that's what's going to send that bell out. And we want to match our breathing to our swing. So we inhale as we come up and exhale as we push back. Okay, switch arms, final arm. And that's good. We're gonna rest for 30. We're gonna do that again. Again, we're just working on getting that connection, maintaining that connection all the way through. So you're actively pulling your arm up into your hip to maintain that connection. And then we're sitting down a little bit and then we're focusing on pushing hard through the feet. That's what's gonna drive those hips forward and send that bell in. Okay, in three seconds. All right, here we go. Back to that first arm. Done, make sure you're pushing hard through your feet and try to keep your arm relaxed. Keep your arm relaxed. Let your arm stay straight. Don't bend at the elbow. And just focus on driving through your feet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, switch arms. Keep it up. Okay, switch back. Sup, J. Okay, switch back, file arm. And that's good, set it down. We're gonna rest for 30. Okay, I want two swings, two swings, and one snatch. Two swings, one snatch. So, one swing, two swing, full snatch, and repeat. One swing, two swing, full snatch. In three, two, one, here we go. We're gonna do 30 seconds in arm. Two swings, one snatch. For those of you who are fairly new to snatch, just remember that we need to establish height with the swing. So I want you to build your height on that swing. And then the snatch is just a matter of pushing your hand through the handle, right? Okay, switch arms. Switch back.
Keep your breathing matched to your movements. And switch, final arm. Okay, that's good. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a four minute snatch multi-switch. All right, so you can switch whenever you want, but I'll let you know, um, I mean, what I'll do is I'm gonna switch on every minute and I'll call it out as it happens so that you know kind of where we're at. I always get nervous when I don't chalk my hands when I'm doing this in the office. Okay. All right, let's hit it. Okay, that's one minute. Okay, that's two minutes. Remember, create some lift on that bell. We create lift by pushing through the feet. The harder we push, the higher the bell goes. So we want to create that lift. Okay, switch, final minute.
time. Fantastic. Okay, breaky breaky. Grab some Wawa. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Uh, Sorry, I didn't see the key. Oh. My apologies. Nice stash, buddy. <laughs> yeah, really. Check that thing out. You gotta quizzle it. <laughs> I wanna get to that point. <laughs> Sally does that all the time. Oh, Charlotte I haven't I haven't done it a lot lately, but but is not, this a, a new thing, 615? Uh, for today, it uh, okay. it was. Um, Sorry about that. And we might just keep it. So okay. uh, I'm trying to remember why I did switch it to 615. Because you're done at 7 today. Oh, yeah. That's why. Instead of 8. Yes. That would be why. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a swing clean. Now big difference between the swings that we do for snatches and the swings that we do for cleans. In a snatch, our destination is here, right? So it's in our interest to practice a swing where we're emphasizing a big send off and lots of flow. But in a clean, our destination is here. So big key difference being where the elbow finishes. When we're in our swing versus when we're in our clean, the elbow really doesn't have to go anywhere. So it doesn't make much sense for us to practice a swing where our arm goes out here if we're working on our, our clean or if we're using it as a correlate for our clean. So on these swings, you're gonna focus on keeping that elbow kind of pulled in a little bit, but you're gonna let the rest of that arm float up. So we're using these muscles back here to hug the arm to the body, but we're keeping these muscles relaxed to let that arm float up a little bit. And when we're actually going for the rack position, we're just gonna pull that shoulder back, that arm will slide a little bit, and then we'll just settle in and rest there. Okay, so one swing, one clean is gonna be our pattern. We're gonna do 30 seconds aside, twice through, and then 30 seconds rest. So I need 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and here we go. One swing, and then one clean. So notice that I'm keeping that elbow tucked in, but I'm letting the bell float. And if it comes away a little bit, that's not a big deal, but we're just trying to keep it close. Okay, switch. And switch. And switch.
And that's good. Set it down. Okay, we're going to get a little funky. We're going to do a clean lunge. And we're going to press in that lunge. So, I'm going to clean and lunge. Press in the lunge. Come back up. And repeat. Lunge, press, and repeat. What do you guys think of that? Okay. Horrible. <laughs> Don't go too heavy on this one. In five seconds. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Okay, come up and switch sides. And let's really work on smoothing out that landing. So we're catching that clean as we're lunging down. Okay, switch. And switch, last arm. And time. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to move into a windmill. So, if you recall, Windmill, we're in the overhead, shift the hips under the bell, follow that inside thigh down, keep the eyes on the bell. Pull those hips back in under the shoulders. So you shouldn't come up to here and then go back down. I do see some people doing this, where they come up to here and then they go back down. Bring yourself back into alignment. And then uh, when you're switching sides, feel free to come down to the rack. Two hands, other side, and then Hit that other side. Okay, let's start now. 30 seconds. Nice and easy on the way down. We're trying to guide ourselves down. Steady Eddie, eyes on the bell. That back leg remains straight. The front knee can be a little bit bent, but it needs to stay at a consistent angle, so it can't be bending. We don't want that drift. Okay, pull it in, switch over. Okay, pull it back in, switch over. Pull it 
back in, switch over, last side. Make sure you're pulling those hips all the way through. In fact, you should be thinking about stiffening the glute of the far side, so the side that's under the uh, belt. I want you to think about squeezing that glute and pulling those hips in. Okay, that's good. Rest, 30 seconds, quick breather. Okay, so we have 10 minutes left. Here's what we're gonna finish with. Since the pentathlon's fast approaching and I still need to send out the Google form for people to register for that. Um, you know, I want to get that in today. So, cleans, clean and press, jerks, half snatch, and push press. We're going to do five of each. We're going to do four of each. We're going to do three of each. We're going to do two of each. And we're going to do one of each. I want you to do it all on one side and then switch sides. So, you're going to do five cleans. And then you're going to do five clean and press. And then you're going to do five jerks. Do you guys hear those heels? That's what I want your heels to sound like. Half snatch. Five reps. And then push press. Five reps. And then switch sides. Do five of everything on the other side. And then four of everything, four of everything, three of everything, three of everything, two of everything, two of everything, one of everything, everything one of everything, and then that's it. So, it may take us longer than 10 minutes to do that, in which case the video might cut out, but that's our mission right now. And I want you to try to do that unbroken, so not setting the bell down at any point in time. We're just gonna keep going back and forth between each set. Cool? So, let me get a little more chalk here, and then we'll all start together. Who wants to pick the soundtrack for this one? Someone's got to pick a soundtrack and bust out some jams, because I got nothing in here. I got nothing either. <laughs> nothing? All right. Well, that's Let's okay. We'll just listen to our breathing. Okay, let's hit it. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Starting with our cleans. Five reps. Two. Three. Four. Five clean and jerk, or sorry, clean and press. So strict press. One, two, three, four, five jerks. Half snatch. And push press. One, two, three. Yeah, that butthead Michael's keeping me away from my family. What a jerk. <laughs> Who's that, Charlie? Look, there's Dawn, she's yawning as always. <laughs> and Jay, Mikhail is hiding. And then Marie. And Daddy. Look at him. Where's your kettle? Where's your kettle?
you show everybody? No, you're tired. Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, I am on to fours. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One of threes. Jay, it's a half snack. Yeah. Come down. There you go. So there's some guy, um, I think he's, might be Swedish, who did uh, a 50 or 60 minute snatch just on one hand. Just, what? On one hand? Just for shits and giggles, I guess. Yeah, he did over and like a thousand reps. With a 50 kg? No, it was a 16. Oh, 16. Oh, I mean, I have done half an hour by multi switch, and even then, I blistered up pretty good. Yeah. And I've done 10 minutes on one side a couple times. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Half snatch. Marie, your clean rack position's really coming along. It looks good. I was gonna tweet out yesterday. I uh, met with Megan just to 
talk, um, think about goals and stuff. And she was like, wow, your boobs look huge in, in that shirt. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, let's put that on the list of top 10 things you can't say to a woman. <laughs> but you can say to a man. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and she did use the word boobs. <laughs> I was gonna say, Don, you kicked everybody's ass. You had the bell down. I thought you were done. Less than a minute left in your in your Zoom. Oh, there's even a few sweat droplets on the floor. Must have been a good one. It was a good one. It's nice to do the complexes. Oh. Oh. Strained my back this morning though. Oh, did you? Yeah. Not sure if it was my just hips. So how everyone knows this is how Sully and I talk to each other, even in the house, just through Zoom. No. <laughs> You're like literally, we're literally always in one end of the house or another. <laughs> like when we're at home, She's it's in the office and I'm in the front, or I'm at work and then it's she's at home married, in the rest right? of the house. What did you say, Marie? You guys are still married, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way our schedule is right now, looking after Charlotte and working. Oh, and it's done. All right. If he joined us on the YouTube, thanks for joining us. And hope he got his sweaty as I did. Do you guys see that? It's brutal. Gotta open the door, air this place out.